Okay, <clears throat> so I wasn't gonna actually get on camera to do this. I was just gonna show you clips like you've seen already, but here we are. So now that we have an idea of where the bag is going, and this isn't where I thought I was gonna go with this when I started, but here we are. Um, and these are some leftover bottoms of some blue jeans I've altered. Uh, my dad's old pants, and I'll put some uh, clip, some photos here. Uh, I did some artsy fabric collage things to the pants, and I do wear them. And these are the pant bottoms that I had left. Um, I had other pants I took pockets and stuff off of, and we are going to make another bag. I have made bags out of the bottoms of my dad's jeans already. Again, I'll put a picture here. Um, this is going to be a little bit bigger bag. And I am inspired by a couple of different videos, one by Tracy Myers, one by Don, is it Don Kim? I'll put the name here, I saw it last night. Um, anyway, sort of combining little bits from both of them. Um, but right now we've got our outside cut out, and so we're going to sew our side seams, whoops, and the bottom seam, and then I'm going to take the little corners I cut out and do this and sew across there. I'm gonna do that to this and the lining. And while I'm at the sewing machine, I'm also gonna sew the clip, the pocket, and the flap to the different pieces I pin them to. I'll be right back. Okay, before we attach the lining to the outside, here, here is what the outside looks like. We need to attach some loops for the strap on the side with some metal rings and I need to attach, I need to attach the other half of this, but I'm thinking I can do that after the whole bag is together because I think I want to attach the loop for the sides. Um, I might want to put a couple of little stitches here to just give it some shape. Yeah, let's do that first. I'll be back. Okay, I don't need to add any extra stitching because it turns out the weight of the fabric I used for the loops for the strap is giving it some extra shape, which is what I wanted. Now we just need to put the lining in and then put the other half of the clip on. Figure out what I'm gonna do with that because I'm all out of this pleated black ribbon. So I don't, it doesn't have to match. Let me see what I can find. That worked out well. Now time for the strap, but we have our lining with a pocket and our clip. I just need to attach the strap. All right, let's do that. I'm all done. What do you think? It's basically just a piece of wearable art, like, If you want to take your art out and you want to have a piece of wearable art, upcycling old jeans and thrifted pieces is the best way to do it. Whether you make a pair of something that's clothing that you can actually wear or you just make a bag. So anyway, not where I thought this would go, but I'm very happy with it nonetheless. All right, time to clean up my mess and on to the next project, which will be that coat you see behind me. But not right now. I have video to edit. All right, that's it for today. Do some upcycling, make yourself a bag. I mean, this could be just a handbag, but it could be your travel art kit. If you need a bag for something, make one. It's not that hard. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, that's it for today. All your relevant links will be in the video description. Questions, comments, or concerns, uh, please leave them down below. I will address everything. If you'd love to support the free content, think about joining my Patreon. All the links for everything are down in the video description. Above all, go out, have fun, make art, make a bag maybe, and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye guys.